some of you guys are such hypocrites to look at 20 different repetitive two minute teasers of a song and make judgments based off of that alone i could never immediately no hi welcome my name is angelina and today we are here to review itsy's slightly controversial comeback with sneakers and i say slightly controversial because you know mafia in the morning it had a whole We'll not get into that. But sneakers is controversial in a different way in the sense that everyone thought or a lot of people thought were praying were hoping that it was actually a prank. I made a whole video about it. A lot of people were agreeing like, please be a prank. <laughs> well, a lot of people were just really angry being like, how could you possibly say this about Itzy? I had people telling me that Eugen was actually upset that people thought this was a joke. And I was like, why are you coming to me with this? <laughs> Take that shit up with JYP. You cannot sit here and berate fans for thinking that put my sneakers on one, two, ready, set, go is a joke. If they are releasing music that isn't vibing with their fans, I mean, that's not, like, I didn't, I didn't write it. I didn't write the song. I didn't produce it. I'm sorry. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> for a lot of us, it doesn't seem to be a prank. I haven't heard it yet. We're about to react to it. But from what people have told me so far, it's not a prank. It's not a prank and it's, it's, exactly what JYP teased us. So to everyone who was getting mad at people for believing that the teaser was going to sound like the song that the teaser was teasing, turns out JYP is pretty consistent in one thing and that is spoiling songs with their teasers. Anyways, I'm done with that. So don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with friends you don't have and subscribe and all of that jazz. So the structure of my videos goes as follows. We do reaction, we find if there's any similarities. Is this music video familiar to us? Not to accuse of plagiarism, I just think this is fun to see if it matches any other works of art. Then we play the funnest game in the world, which is find the storyline in the fourth gen music video. Now I'm predicting there's not gonna be a storyline, but I think there's gonna be symbolism, you know, like a royalty concept with sneakers. I'm, I, under, I understand what they're putting down. Not sure if I'll like it, but that's besides the point. Then I'll share my thoughts, read some of your comments, and yeah, let's just get started. I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. Immediately, no. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But the styling already, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but it's interesting. It's interesting, okay. So stopping right off the bat because people were definitely predicting that this was going to be the message of the song, as is a lot of Itzy songs. I mean, this is definitely what they're known for. But I know people, like right off the bat, I mean, even during Wannabe era, people were sick of it. People were starting to think like, you know, I'll do my own thing, deal with it, I don't care what you think. It's just a little overdone. You know, I'm on TikTok a lot and people love to hate a pick me. They love to hate them. So I can already see people complaining about the message of the song being like, it's overdone. It's too much like, I'm not like the other girls. Personally, I don't know. I don't really have an, I don't have an opinion on it as of right now. Okay. I do like this part so far. You can call me weird. I don't, it's a little awkward in the lyrics, but I like the melody of this part in particular compared to um, the, the, like, the verses. Didn't that sound, that sounded like, who did that sound like? Did that sound like Jihyo from Twice? Wait, go back. Just open your ears, okay? Listen. It's definitely, like, people are like, trust Itzy, trust JYP. Like, what was there to trust? You know what I mean? Like, they, they spoiled the chorus, and this is the chorus. Anyways. BTS reference? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, okay. This part sounds incredibly familiar. Do you know what I'm thinking? Do you know what song I'm thinking of? I like it anyways. I'll probably end up streaming it though, to be to be real. It falls a hundred percent into that realm that is so bad it's good. And uh 
Not the shoes falling on the ceiling. Did you see that? <laughs> what the fuck? What is this? It's it. Love this part. I need to restart it. I love, love this part. Wait. Truthfully, if the song, if the entirety of the song was more on this level, even like the visuals and everything, the whole beginning of the whole beginning of the music video itself to me irrelevant. Don't remember anything. There's nothing that stood out to me except for fucking sneakers on a roof. But this, like the whole, this is pretty genius. This part, at least, I love the melody. I love the visuals that we're seeing. You know, they're in like space. They're dressed kind of in a retro way. Um, but this is 100% an Adidas ad. There's no way, like, there's no way they're not getting paid <laughs> by a brand to make a song like this. There's no way this wasn't some type of way <laughs> to, to, like, go viral for a brand, you know what I mean? Like, those are Adidas sneakers, right? There was some Converse, but notice how we didn't see the brand name. But for Adidas, they're not shy to show it. Anyways, I love this part. Oh, you can call me the stars in the background, the outfits are Gucci. I'm confused. I'm too poor for this shit. That's the Adidas logo with written Gucci, right? Anyways, the colorful outfits, everything. This is the concept that I wanted sneakers to be. If you're going to have an obnoxious song like this, you need to go all out with the concept. You know what I mean? And the beginning of the music video was not it for me. But this part, like, I'm already intrigued. The purples, the pinks, the greens, the yellows, everything would make it worth it to me. The royalty concept out the window. I really couldn't, I never liked it to be, <laughs> like I never put all of my eggs in that basket. Do you know what I mean? Continuing on. No, the royalty thing, they should have stuck. Is that, are those paintings of sneakers? <laughs> That's kind of funny, I have to admit. You're kidding. You're kidding. You're kidding. Do you see what is written here? Spread sneakers worldwide. <laughs> There's no way this isn't like a glorified ad. There's no way. And we're ending off with the iconic crown movement. And in their royalty outfits, they're wearing silver sneakers. Storyline? No. The song is leaving me speechless. Here's the thing. The last like minute or so of the song. Love the concept. Are those prices for the sneakers? I, I'm wearing glasses. I can't fucking see though. Like where do we go from here? <laughs> Probably been a little bit more on board if this was the entire concept of it all. The whole royalty theme, it just doesn't interest me. I know for a lot of Mitzi's, they were like rooting for it. Like they would have sold their firstborn for that royalty concept. You know, without the sneakers, without the sneakers. Um, but I'm really down for this. The teasers just, they didn't do justice to anything, I would say. Even the Y2K teasers that we saw, you know, this is like a, a very toned down version of that. And then the royalty concept, you know, we didn't get to see the sneakers. Anyways, I think the promotion for this song, absolutely genius because, you know, otherwise would we have been talking about it as much? Do you know what I mean? Would we have been bullying people as much to pretend to like something? Do you know what I mean? As for my thoughts on the song, um, you know, I'm not a huge fan of the verses or the chorus or um, anything except for the pre-chorus. The pre-chorus really gets me and it makes me a little bit sad that we couldn't have a song that flowed off of that concept of that pre-chorus because to me it's beautiful i would probably listen to the song just to hear that pre-chorus and also because like the sneakers thing to me is kind of funny you know i streamed diamond by sparkling so you know i i I wouldn't put it past me to have this on my playlist. We'll see at the end of the month. So if you want to stick around, subscribe, and you'll see at my end of the month review if it ended up on my playlist, if we ended up streaming it, or if we were just like, you know what, we're just, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna let this one sit in JYP's dungeon. So I asked you.
you guys in my community tab what you thought of sneakers so let's take a look at some of the comments so far the song as a whole was really enjoyable the chorus was the only part i had question marks on especially after that heavenly pre-chorus but it grew on me i enjoy it i agree about that heavenly pre-chorus it's better than i expected but i still don't really like it i'm not sure why some fans still think disliking a song by their faves is a fate worse than death disliking their song is nothing against the girls themselves i wholeheartedly agree with that sure you might get canceled online and have multiple traumatic experiences that stick with you throughout your lifetime but sometimes those are the sacrifices you need to make to give your opinions on k-pop online speaking from personal experience i actually liked it on first listen not their best title track but it is very catchy and it will probably grow on me reminds me of vela dela i see combined i liked it first listen maybe i expected something big to happen like a lot of their other title tracks i think it will grow on me it sounded a lot like their b-sides especially their last crazy in love album it felt half cooked and sloppy by far their weakest title track the choreo was fun and i enjoyed the verses but those were the only redeeming factors i love itsy so i'm a little bit disappointed it felt a bit generic yet very catchy i love the little rap wish there was more of it for a simple song i expected a dance break to spice things up i feel like a lot of people mm -mm -mm, i don't know but that is basically it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to leave in the comments down below what you think of sneakers. What are your thoughts? As for me, I'm going to get going. But first, a shout out to my channel members who help support this channel on a monthly basis. It means the world to me. And you can join them too by clicking the join button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye! And we all know under K-pop code 301 that you are supposed to pretend to like everything your faves come out with. Come on, guys. I shouldn't have to be teaching you this right now.